me to overcome every challenge and every evil man plots will not succeed over your life you will fulfill what the Lord wants you to fulfill you will get what the Lord wants you to get you will become what the Lord has made you to become you will reach where the Lord wants you to reach and you will receive Jesus destiny is in your hand to change your tomorrow you can stand up today and you say I was a baby yesterday but today I'm grown up I have to determine what happened to me tomorrow your decision of today will open a new chapter tomorrow your decision of today will open a new door tomorrow what you do today will give you a result tomorrow nobody can stop it Father we thank you we bless your name we glorify your name we honor you again today pray Lord that your spirit will be with us this afternoon pray that Lord your word will quicken our spirit mold us again and make us that which you want us to be I worship you Lord I bless your name welcome Holy Spirit and take your leadership and lead your people and glorify your name in this place without you Lord we can do nothing we open our spirit our soul our heart to you we raise our voice to you king of glory for when we are weak we are strong when we are poor we are then rich in Christ help us again and make us that which you want us to be in the name of Jesus we thank you for this evening this uh, wonderful study pray Lord that you quicken our spirit and mold us again just to become that which you want us to become in the name of Jesus Father thank you we surrender our life we surrender our heart and we give you everything you speak to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this evening. Thank you for the glory. Thank you for your honor. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
worship you Jesus Father I worship you in my spirit I worship you in my heart I worship you in my mind Lord I worship you with my voice I worship you with my body Father I worship you Lord I worship you King of glory I worship you Mighty God I worship you Father we worship you Jesus we worship you Master we worship you Savior we worship you Lord we adore you We praise your name We lift your name on high We magnify your name We exalt your name You are highly exalted You are mightily and highly esteemed We honor you again and we bless your name you are holy indeed you are mighty indeed you are awesome God we love you Lord we worship you oh Jesus let your princess come down and speak to us oh Lord by your word speak to us by your spirit we are thirsty we are hungry for you do something in our heart, oh Lord. Do something in our life. Mold us and make us become that which you want us to be. In the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. We honor you again. Take your position, Lord. And lead our people. And guide us in the princess of God. In righteousness and in holiness father we are thirsty for you we are hungry for you take away every filthy garment in our heart take away every shortcoming in our spirit take away everything Lord rise up a righteousness rise up a holiness of the body equip us again for the move of God glorify yourself by the power of the Holy Spirit Manifest your glory through my mortal body. Let the glory come back to your name. Let the will of God be done. I worship you. And I glorify your name. How I go. Is a no God reign. From heaven above. With the wind. Dumb power, love our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. We win. Dumb and power, love our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God.
awesome God glory 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 to God hallelujah somebody hallelujah oh we celebrate his greatness let's sit down and hear the word and study the word in the name of Jesus father thank you for the day and thank you for this moment you reign forever you reign in the realm of the man. Man is here to be led by you. You reign in heaven and you are the God from Gatamos to Atamos. We trust you this evening and we believe in your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody say amen. So I want to share with you this uh, um, evening. My topic is going to be um, dealing with uh, stagnation and delay in life. Dealing with the stagnation and delay in life. Deuteronomy 2 and verse 1 to 3. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spoke unto me, and we compassed uh, Mount Seamen in many days. Mount Seir for many days. And the Lord spoke unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough turn you not words that is Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 1 to 3 now um, I'm also quoting the scripture which you read on your own time Exodus chapter 4 where Pharaoh was told uh, to let the people of God go free but the man refused he delayed these people until uh, the 12th chapter if you read the Bible you see up to the 12th chapter when the yoke of delay was totally uh, uh, broken um, and they were free forever from chapter 4 when Moses started to battle against Pharaoh to release the men of Israel and to go free. Now Pharaoh caused a delay for, if you look at it, you see the freedom came at chapter 12. Amen. Amen. Now, satanic delay is very dangerous, an attack in the life of human being. Because it can put the dream of a man to stand still. You find that uh, your dream, in military language we call it mark time. You are working very hard but you are in the same place and therefore expectation of a man it becomes nothing the Bible says the hope deferred makes the money 
the heart sick. A hope deferred when you have expectation and when you reach in that place you don't find anything the Bible says it makes the heart sick but expectation of a that is fulfilled the word of God says is a tree of life when expectation is fulfilled it becomes a tree of life therefore it is more better for a person to be moving slowly you can be it's better than a way you are moving slowly than stagnating in the same place better you see you are moving making advancement slow than just uh, being expect and you have a very total delay on what you are doing so what I want to say is this that until you destroy the yoke of Satan or the satanic given yoke you are likely to remain at the same spot of life until you destroy the satanic yoke you remain on the same place you will not move anywhere some people you know you can feel like you are making progress in life but at the end of the year you find yourself in the same place you have not achieved anything you think you are making progress but at the end of the matter you find yourself delaying in the sight of man you are not achieving anything there are different types of delay in the life of people there are very very different type of delay we have what we call um, a temporal delay temporal de delay there we have the second one we call a permanent delay permanent delay that we have another type of delay we call it occasional delay Satan it does not attack any person that is not going anywhere if you are not going anywhere you will not feel the attack of Satan because you have no journey of life. You are going nowhere in life. Hmm? But satanic influence is against the people that have destiny in life. What we say you have destiny it means you are targeting something and you have focus and you want to fulfill that and because of that it means you are going somewhere and therefore you are the target of your enemy Satan when the person is on a serious mission then what you want to accomplish in life is what the devil will attack you so that you will not be able to hit that great ta target you are looking for when a person is not progressing in life we call that stagnation when you are not progressing in life i dr tayo i call it stagnation you are stagnant because you are not moving because you cannot prosper
person is said to be stagnant when he can't prosper. You are stagnant. When you are simply cannot provide the needs, the very primary needs of your own and your own family, then you are into that attack of the enemy. You are delaying and you are stagnant in life. Remember, life is not a place where we have to exist. Life is a place where we have to live. But when we say you are living, it means you have the breath of God. You must be living, not existing. So let me expound to you what is satanic delay. What is satanic delay? Satanic delay is a state of slowing down. It is a weapon of the enemy used to tie down a person's glory. A satanic delay is when a person is plagued in one spot aimlessly. You don't target anything. You have no direction. You are under satanic delay. It is a place where a person finds himself um, you find yourself, you don't have, you, you find yourself in a situation. You find yourself in a situation where you cannot, you, you find it difficult for you to excel in life. Rubenites were not able to excel in life because they were under a curse. When you are not, you cannot excel. Either you have been delayed or you have been stagnated in life. So that means you are bound. It means to bind you so that you cannot move forward. Satanic delay and satanic stagnation. You won't be able to fulfill your destiny when you are under satanic delay. Satanic delay introduces the spirit of struggle. Men and women of God, if we personally, individually in your life, you feel like you are praying every day, you serve God, but you are under struggle, just be honest to yourself, because this evening teaching, I'm intending to liberate some of you in the name of Jesus. Yesterday, I was listening to Pastor Ezekiel. He was complaining about his workers in the church. And he said that he's paying them a good money but they are not excelling, they are not growing, they are not look, they don't look like they are earning something better. In fact, he says some of them they borrow outside until they are taken to court and they put in prison in police. He was calling some names of the people. He said that all the workers of the churches they don't excel. Because of the too poor mentality. Okay, I didn't listen to the points of mentality. That he said there are two mentality of the workers who are dealing with the churches and ministries that they don't grow up, they don't become, they don't excel in life. They look like they are stagnant, but the mentality he put there, the points I was not able to listen because I didn't have time. I was passing by. 
in that place. So when I heard him talk like this, I said, uh uh. You know, there are people when they are not working, they say, if I get a place where I can be, just receive 5,000 every month, I know I can plan it myself very well. Every month I know I will get 5,000. I'll plan it myself very well. There are people that say so. But once they get that job, if they start getting 6,000, 7,000, 9,000, it look like they cannot even get that. that yeah? Like, they need like five times for them to do what they wanted to do with the 5,000. Somebody will tell you, if I get 10,000, I will do something better. <coughs> if, if, if you earn 30,000, you find that you still have the same, same problem that you had when you have 10,000. Maybe there is a spirit behind, according to that man, which with me, if you are not progressing, you are not excelling in whatever you are doing, you are a stagnant person and you are under satanic delay. Satanic delay introduced that spirit of struggle. You struggle in life. You are earning well, but you struggle. You know, we cannot say, uh -huh, the money is very small or little. Because the scripture also says, he that earns little and he manage the little, he can earn even big and be able to manage the big money. Yes. It is a word of God that created us. He knows. When you become good to people, and they learn that your heart is good, some of the people may use your heart as a useless person instead of benefiting themselves and benefit the, the company or organization or ministry, they now intend to spoil by misusing a good heart. I have been in that position. I have experienced different people. You see? When you are under delay and the stagnation of satanic, even what you can do by yourself, you cannot do. You throw complaint to somebody else. You blame other people. So you find that you struggle in life because satanic delay brings the spirit of struggle and hardship and sorrow in life. Delay is a spirit of invisible. It is a spirit of invisible that shatters a man's dream to pieces so that you will not be able to rise up again. You can't comprehend your dreams. You live like a confused person. It blinds your dreams. You see yourself like you will never make it in life. All the doors of possibility shut in your brain, in your mind, in everything. You, you begin to live so long as you are there. So the picture of a man who is under delay is a very, very serious picture. It's a very serious issue in life. Nobody will ever come to your life and help you. You must learn to do things by yourself and rise by yourself. 
there is no hope with the people who are in authority. Any place and a, a minister of the government or opportunity of the government will give to you, it is by you fighting with your God and make God make a room for you in those government positions. Otherwise, everybody is working for themselves. So satanic delay will throw the arrow of limitation. It will throw the arrow of limitation which will make a person wander away from the vision. You go away from the vision. The place of breakthrough where the Lord wants you to focus and get breakthrough. That arrow, he put you away. Because it's an arrow from satanic agenda. And there are people who experience different types of dreams when they are sleeping. And those dreams are spiritual indication that they are under satanic delay, like this one. If you have a dream, like you are picking snails, eh? you are picking snails, or maybe you are waiting a bus somewhere on the stage, but the bus is not coming. The vehicle that you are waiting on the bus stop is not coming. Or maybe a dream that you are being pursued. Some people are pursuing you. Hmm? Those are signs. If you, if you see yourself like also you are in the village with the old drugs. Is a sign that you are being pursued with a delay satanic. These are examples of uh, dreams. So all of these are bad examples. Are signs of satanic delay in the life of people. It causes manipulation. People are manipulated. Hmm? But I want to tell you that it is possible for a man to be extremely rich. It is possible. It is possible. If we break this yoke, it is possible. But you can be rich and at the same time you are under delay. Because the level of riches you have at that particular time, at that particular age you are in, maybe it's not supposed to be that one. You have been delayed. So the Bible says, many mighty men are falling. And what do you think is the cause of delay of these mighty men? The fall of all these mighty men that you see. Mature people, aged people, preparing to marry. All these are signs of delay. People fall. People remain behind in life because of satanic delay. When the door of a man can be closed when he is passing through the yoke of foundation delay. So it is a very dangerous thing.
you can experience problems at the age of breakthrough you are just about to make it and there's something happen and all your dreams or all your plans are aborted it's a sign that you are being under attack it's an arrow of delay from satanic world the spirit of delay will make a person to work hard you work very hard but will remain at the tail always you don't go ahead the bible says you shall be the head and not the tail shall be the first and not the last shall be above and not beneath those are promises the Lord gave to Israelites. They are applied to us in life, those who are believers. We inherit the promises of Israelites through the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessing of Abraham who come to us, Gentile. So what the Lord promised Israel, through Jesus we will receive it. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13. He said he became a curse on the cross so that the blessing of Abraham will do what? Will come to the Gentile. Hmm? I don't know. God will help us. Yeah, he will help us. The person is likely to backslide in the era of disappointment. When somebody is disappointed, what happens in the life of people? Most of the people, if you have been believing God, worshiping and praying, and then something in the same kingdom disappoints you. Do you know there are people that go back to the bar and begin to drink and live worldly life? He said, these things of God is a lie. And this is a level where a lot of people have reached. That's why people take the Bible and turn pieces. And they say there is no God. They say this is a, a, a white man's mind. <laughs> people are making argument now. When you are frustrated in life, you may a, a delay and a stagnation from the demonic world it can make you look like these things of God, there is nothing at all. You might think it's a game. In fact, they say it is a way preachers are using to gather and to steal money from people. There is nothing like a church, like God there. Church is a program of man. That's what they say. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I gave you different types of what? Delays. Number one. Yes, sir. Temporal delay. It means it is for a short time. Amen. But even though it is for a short time, but if you don't do something, it may be prolonged. Another one? Yes? Permanent delay. And then, do we have another one? Yes? Occasionally delay. Now, here are different sources where the delay generate from okay types of delay sources so I want to give you number one is divine delay divine delay is a delay that is caused by God and when you hear something like that you should say amen because even when God urinate in your plate where you are eating food and God urinate there, 
some of you you will throw food but you pick the urine of God I want you to know that everything about God is perfect everything akatema mata chini katengeneza matopo akampa pap macho macho ikatokea mate hallelujah god is good oh. everything about him <laughs> hallelujah one day jesus prayed until the sweat turned to blood <laughs> when the blood of jesus dropped on the ground the power of the curse on the ground was broken hey! you don't know the secret of that everything about him so divine delay is a delay that is caused by god how is the delay of elizabeth to get a child at the time of zechariah god's delay is for good there are several things why god may cause delay but i'm just telling you one so that is called divine delay it is called by who caused by god now we have number two a personal delay personal delay remember all this that i'm giving you now some falls into um, occasional delay some falls into permanent delay and some falls into temporal delay this one i'm giving you so a personal delay is a delay that could be caused by you yourself you cause delay by yourself you are just about to be there and you yourself you become stupid and you do something that will abort all the miracle that was coming on your way and god says you are uh, where is uh, gabriel uh, this um uh marco you wanted to give him that breakthrough when papa it was supposed to be tomorrow uh, look at what he has done so give him 20 years again it caused a delay god does not reject the blessing to his children but he causes delay so there are delay that you yourself you do you form them personal delay somebody say personal somebody say i reject it i cancel any delay that i might have cost myself in any area of my life oh lord help me in jesus name yeah there are personal delays whereby you cause those delays by your own actions your own mistakes your own errors because you don't know you don't have spiritual eyes you don't have information about the word you don't have a spirit of obedience you don't have a discipline in life and therefore because of that you go into wrong actions and mistakes that will cost your life again for 20 years instead of five years then another one is what i call programmed delay programmed delay is a delay that is arranged by your enemies it's called a programmed delay your enemies can plan delay for you amen then but you can still break it i will still show you how to come out from all this then we have another one we call inherited delay inherited delay now this one is a delay that you inherit from your blood people you have your bloodline people hmm? e.g parents 
Your mother got married at the age of 55. Now you are a daughter. You are now 30. And you don't have a desire to get married. You say, I don't care. Even my mother married at the old age. Eh? And she still bore me as a child. So, I still enjoy my life. Oh. I don't want to be somebody's wife. You inherit from your parents. Some of you, you inherit some things that you don't like. Something is happening to you that caused delay and that thing is from your bloodline, people. So we have the inherited delay where you get it from the bloodline, people. Then we have another delay we call an environmental delay. Environmental delay is a delay that is caused by witches. The witches that are living around you in your environment, they cause delay. They don't want you to progress in life. There are those people that live in that environment, they don't want you to see you coming in with a new television. They don't want you to buy a meat. If you are preparing food, meat, they don't want you to see here that. They don't want you to pay your rent. They want always a landlord. And the majority of these people, are you listening to me and those of you that are listening? Majority of this environmental causing delay, majority of them are called landlord and landladies. Majority of these people. These people that you hear, they are called landlord and landlord. Ladies, majority of them that are wicked, they are causing this problem in the tenants that live with them. Because it's very easy for these people to cause delay in the life of the tenants that are paying them money. It becomes very easy. So that's why a believer should fight and stay above their problem. A believer should fight and be free from giving people money. Let the people give to you. It will become a landlord. That's why Jesus is a Lord of Lords. You cannot be a Lord on earth if you don't own anything. You must own a land, own a house for you to be Lord. Because you are the people that you are paying, they are called land lady, land lord. They own something. And Jesus is Lord of lords. So you are intended to own something on earth. God promised Abraham the land. He didn't promise the cars. He didn't promise houses. He promised the land. I'm giving you Abraham the land that flow with milk and honey. When you inherit a land, you are into God's blessing. Hallelujah. Yeah, because when you have a land, you can access. All the other things are temporary, but a land is a permanent thing. Once you get it, it owns you. It, be, it belongs to you. You can leave it for your children, your children, children, your children, your grand-grandchildren. They can inherit the same thing. Because a land is potential in biblical stature. The land is very powerful. Hallelujah. So the Lord promised Abraham the land. He didn't promise cars. He promised the land. But when you enter into that land, he said it flows with milk and honey. <laughs> Hallelujah. The land flows with milk and honey. So I pray in the name of Jesus that any landlord or landlady that you people, you are giving money and they are intending to put a delay or a yoke of stagnation over your life, I command that thing to be aborted in the name of Jesus. So, we have another delay we call strong man delay. A strong man delay is when a strong man has a void that you will not make it in life. A strong man. There are people in this life that have made sure that you will not make it in life. That we shall see. Their, their work is to monitor you. To see what you are doing day after day. To make sure that every plan you have is aborted. These are called stronghold men. 
Many people are seriously finding it hard to rise up in life because of these people. After many seasons of limitations and demotions, you find that it becomes very hard to rise up as a man again in life. These are the people behind. So in the Bible we have what we call uh, Moses. God used Moses to take away the children of Israel from delay of Pharaoh. Hmm? In Exodus for Exodus for chapter 14, when the, the first time of delay we cannot become frustrated. We can't. Because when you are under delay, you are frustrated, you are discouraged, hmm? depressed, angry, and even shifting blames to people. So and so is the one that caused me. If not so and so, let me tell you young people in Christ there is an opportunity to rise up whether you are educated or not whether your father help you or not in Christ you have been introduced in another very big privilege opportunity great door for you to make it again it's another opportunity for you to rise up again your father, your parents were able, were supposed to position you, but they failed to position you on the rising feet. But you have been set on the foundation that cannot be shaken. The Jesus Christ is a new beginning in your life. And that's why the Bible says Christ in you is hope of glory. So there is a glory ahead of you. Fight and stay and manifest that glory in the name of Jesus. Yes, you have that opportunity. Don't complain against people because you are frustrated. Just know what you can do. Now that you are born again, get this wisdom. Know that in Christ, the people are shining. In Christ, the people are making it. Whether you are educated or not, you, can, you, are, you have a testimony. You can see a lot of people who are not educated. They are nobody. Robbers, hmm? adulterers, fornicators, wicked people, killer people. God has washed them. Put the Bible in their hand. Put his word in, 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 in their heart. And, and washed away all the filthiness in their mind. And anoint them with the oil. Fresh oil. And baptize them with the Holy Spirit. And raise them with the heart. And give them favor before men. And now they sit together with the great man. Yes. That's what he can do. And if God can do it to other people he's the same God he can do it to you he's the same God he can use you he's the same God it doesn't matter where you are divorced or not you can do it you are a young man you have an opportunity you have a long way to go Christ is the hope of glory you are the solution to your parents you are the solution to your family you are the one that carry the light you are the one that people are looking for. Their hope is on you. If you go to your village, you see some people say, we have been hoping. Have you seen some young people who are bright, who have died? Their parents crying on the screen and say, we were hoping that our son is the one who is going to help us. We were hoping that this child, this daughter, he promised her mother that I'm going to build a house for you. Look at the government. You have to render justice here because she has died. We don't know who killed our daughter. Parents lament because of their children who have died. Yeah, they lament because children are the hope of their parents. Children are the hope of their parents. Mandiko inasema, wow, watoto awa ni migu ya kulungu ya wazazi wao. Mandiko inasema ni mikono ya vita vya wazazi ya kupigania. Watoto wako wanatakana waene mbele yako. Wakusaidie katika uzeo wako. Watoto wako wakupatia kibali na nema ya kusimama tena. Ah, watoto ni muhimu. Hallelujah. And that's why you see when you don't have a child you may have all the money and everything but there is still the sorrow and the the, the, the reproach of egypt 
is still resting upon you because you don't have and that's why it's called reproach you are in Christ but you have a reproach the Lord will talk away every reproach in your life and he will baptize you with an anointing of favor anointing of progress the power to make you become that which you are looking to somebody shout yeah yeah I believe I believe with all my heart that we have a generation that is about to manifest hallelujah so don't don't cry on yourself a stagnation is for the time we can break it uh, through christ through this power and the same anointing he did it he can do it today and he shall do it tomorrow he's the same what he did in bible time he can do it today so i urge you to rise up get this mind and start fighting for yourself don't give up because all this at this 14 chapter Moses took away these people when their first, uh, first time of uh, delay will, will become frustrated in life and discouraged and all this hmm? it become a problem so if you combine all these things um they become a breeding ground for the enemy to tempt you to quit and give up. You quit and you give up in life. Look at this frustration in your life. Discouragement. Huh? The opposite of discourage is encouragement. So, depressed. Do you know when some people reach in that depression, <laughs> their brain begins to have a problem. So, you now get anger. You shift the blame to the people. You start looking for people who have caused that problem. If not, so and so. But I encourage you that you can make it can be frustrated this thing can be frustrating to find out that a person prolong eh, a delay that is caused by themselves because of frustration when you are the architect of your own uh, problem <laughs> You are likely not to see a change in your life. It is until you address the real thing. You have to look at the cause of that delay. You must recognize the fact that there are some obstacles on your own way. You must cry out to God for quick transformation. You yourself. Because you are the founder of your problem. There is nobody that loves to be prolonged in delay. So but you have to act. If you don't act, you remain like that. If you are the genesis of your own problem, even God cannot save you. Because you have a willpower. And if we have any person here that may experience delay and you just want to continue doing things in your own life that will continue to cause delay, then you are abnormal. You are not normal. And I will show you some things that cause delay. And after you hear this message, you begin to write them down. Okay, this one, the man said it caused delay. So I'm going to watch over this one. This one, the man said, I will, call, I will count those that I can count to help you. We said a temporal delay. That's why we preach delay is not what? Denial. Remember that it is there for you. But you can't get it because you don't qualify for that particular time. Do 
There is only one good delay. Only one. One good delay is what I call divine delay. A divine delay is one delay which is good. Among all the delays I've mentioned here. Because God sometimes he causes a delay. He causes a man to delay on their destiny for a purpose. Why do you think God caused delay? He caused delay because he wanted that man to learn a lesson. That's why, number one reason why God caused delay. And if somebody delay you so that you can equip yourself and add more knowledge, that is a good delay. God can cause a man to delay marrying because he knows that time if you marry, you are going to marry a wrong wife. And you know, let me tell you, the Lord does not expect when you marry to divorce. Marriage is a permanent thing on earth. According to divine plan. So when you marry, have you, you have seen, I don't know if you have experienced something like this. Majority of ladies that come to Christ and they build themselves in Christ, they don't rush to marriage. They take their time. You know that time? They are being prepared to become better wives. Until you qualify to be a wife, Christ cannot grant you marriage if you are just a woman. You must learn and become a wife before you marry. There are some qualities of a wife. Remember the one that want to marry, they are not looking for a woman. They are looking for a wife. So if you are a lady and you start manifesting the characters, the behavior of a wife, the person that is looking for a wife will see those things on you. The Bible does not say who find a woman. He says he who find a wife. For you to be a wife, there are some qualities put together. There are some things. The way you look like, the way you behave, the way you carry yourself, the way you present yourself, the way you put on yourself, it determines whether you can be a wife or you can be a, just you are just a woman. And because the Lord loves you, he may cause delay not to marry or not to get married for a good reason. Because you will marry a wrong person. God caused delay to answer your prayers with good reasons. In John chapter 11, a man was terribly sick. And they had a relationship of friendship with the master, Jesus. The two sisters, they sent a messenger. Go and tell Jesus, the one that you love most is in critical condition. Come and help the person. The Bible says, when they told Jesus, because he loved him more, the Bible says he delayed for two days. Until the man became critical and died. And was buried. God delays so that he can be well with you. You didn't hear me. You don't have what you are praying to have today because God is waiting for the best time. 
He delays so that he can be well with you. Healing Lazarus, even the word to send back was easier compared with going and raise him. He wanted people to witness the glory of God. There is something Jesus wanted. Jesus wanted to teach the Jews that even after four days burial, the power of God can still break the law of death and bring the person back to life. That's why. That's why. That word stands even up today to show you that there is nothing impossible with God. What is easier? Is it to create or to revive from death? Which one is easier now? He is a creator. After four days, according to Jews law, once you are buried for three days, you are gone. And Jesus waited the fourth day to make sure that the law is completely perfected. And now he show up on the scene. Even though I delayed, but through the delay, he come to manifest the glory of God. So some delay, you can delay to do something. You delay because God is causing delay. That's a God's delay, divine delay. He delay because of good things. He delays a man because of ex expectation of a man. For example, let's say, if a man, uh, maybe God knows you are planning to go to the village. Eh? To see the people in the village, and see people in your own family. You want to visit the people in the family. And just because of the unseen uh, trap that is on the road, or something that is ahead of you, you don't know. So the Lord now will cause a tire on your car. Problem of the tire punch. So that that day you don't go. <laughs> you have, uh -uh. What is the problem with this car now? What is the problem? Because you don't, have, you don't have understanding. You don't know. It's a cause of delay. The Lord is causing you to delay. He brings circumstances around you, ahead of you. Because there is something that he wanted you to escape. One day I was traveling to, I don't know where I was going, but I was using a, um, which bus is this one? The old, old bus here in Mombasa, Arabic bus, Costi bus. I was using Costi bus. So I don't know where I was going, honestly. I forgot that I traveled many times. So now, I stood there at the ferry. Um, I was, uh, when I cross, the moment I cross, I will remain with uh, 30 minutes. So when I reach at the ferry, it's 30 minutes waiting. So I'm waiting the one that is coming. It was in the evening. So the one that was coming, he, he dropped the people and he went to park. So I started waiting the another one. Another one was coming. He dropped the people and carry fuel. Tankers of fuel, eh? You know them, huh? Petrol, eh? And diesel. They don't carry people. Now they go. So the other one that was supposed to be coming, he was supposed to be coming now to release people and get us to go. That's the third one. Now, the, when, when this one is going, now the mail, eh? The ship. Is now passing so the other one has to wait until so I waited there around one hour and 30 minutes I returned in the house because my vehicle left um, like uh, I crossed if I cross here at that time my vehicle was supposed to be uh, I was delayed one hour I delayed one hour so he left I didn't go so I went in the house so very early in the morning, I saw news. Costi bus has caused an accident. And it was the same, same bus that I was supposed to use. I knew God was speaking to me. That's how things happen. So divine cause of delay are always good. Huh? 
they are always good. God may want you to, uh, to skip you from any disappointment that is ahead of you. Hmm? So, if the Lord causes a delay, don't complain. Look at somebody and tell somebody, don't complain. It can make you have a problem in the home when you're about... For example, if you're about to leave, for example, you want to travel, eh? you have been preparing, you want to travel, and the moment you want to leave, you have a problem with your wife or your husband, you quarrel, you quarrel, you quarrel. It's a sign that you don't need to go. Just leave it. Cancel it. Because if you are smart here, you have to know that's not a... It's a bad sign. It's a sign showing you that there is something negative. You don't need to go. Cancel it. Can I reveal to you something? The day Angela Chibalonza died, they quarrel and they fight with the husband. The husband told her, you should not go to that meeting. She said, no, I have to go. Most of the musicians are very stubborn to be wives. That's why most of the singers who are men, who are women, you can see them divorcing. Because their character is very bad. If you see women like right now, those who, are, who have started singing when they are already mature in the marriage, they are very old in marriage, people like Milka, it's not easy to hear such stories. But people that are, who are musicians, and then they come into the music, gospel artist, and then they, they are now married, and they are still young. It's not, it's most of the 84% of women musicians are divorced. They are divorced. And 90% are fornicators and adulterers. 90%. Now, girl, you listen to me. It is true. Do you know the reason? Because of these things. They, they don't have character. They are very stubborn. Once they see a gift working in them, and they are shining before people than their husband, they think they are now the head. Angela Chibalonza was told not to travel. The event I was in Nakuru, it was not a good event. It was a worldly event. It was an event that she would step on the altar and other secular musician. It was not Diamond, but I'm giving example. People like Diamond to sing on the same stage. Do you think it goes? Look at Angela's dedication and commitment. Look at her music. People that you need to share kwa stage moja na wao, kama wao ni muimbaji wa njili, nyimbo za njili. Eh? Ni watu kama kina nani? Waya tuseme watu kama kina um, rough tone, akina rough tone, ring tone. Eh? Awa watu haina hiyo, akina um, uyu wakuimba la kusema nini? Nene, 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 nene. What to come how? Ao atakama Nanyu Mimbaji at Tanzania. Diamond. Atakama diamond at Akuja. Na wao pia wanakuja. Aina shida. Kasabu wana fanana. Eh? Ao ni kitu moja Watu kama rough tone Watu kama ring tone eh, Kama hawa gina gadiani angel Nani hawa Wote na, na gina Kina platinum Ayo wote ni grupu mo Ao wanaitua gospel Commercial Wafanyi biashara Wanyimbo za inji eh, Ndiyo hao Iyo ni grupu moja Lakini ukichukua sasa Iyo grupu ya watu kama kina platinum wanasimama kwa stage. Alafu huko ujukue watu kama kina muhuana. Unaona muhuana? 
Unaona mwelekeo wa mwana uko tofauti sana. Ujikua watu kama kila mwana unaweka kwa hiyo grupu. Hiyo ni kumuua haraka. Kuna watu ambao their music is dedicated to God. It's different with the people who are just singing. There are people that are called worshippers and there are people that are called musicians, commercial musicians. Hmm? You cannot share stage with these people. Angela alienda go share kule. In fact, unaambiwa alitokea kwa dirisha. Wanaka alifunga mlango, asitoke kwa hiyo nyumba. Akaboma dirisha akatoka na kaenda asubuhi akakuja akiwa maiti. Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anataka kwenda Tanzania. Sasa hakutaka kuacha hiyo ya Tanzania, ndio akakimbia hii. Sasa generally unaweza kuniuliza Tayo where were you when that was happening? Mia was not there. Oga okay, was not there. I'm just teaching. But if you want to do an investigation you will find it. Many of the people that are musicians are stubborn. So this habit, it will find them. Are you listening? So now, a controversial wife that always, if you want to go somewhere, she fight. She now raise words. She speak words. It can be a cause of the devil against the God's plan or it can be God's delay. If the point of your husband or your wife is right, then you have to hear. It can be God speaking to you through her. Are you listening now? Now, it doesn't mean that going to the village is a bad thing. But it's just an example I'm using. So that is called spiritual divine delay of God. It's called divine delay. Hmm? So, in spite of all this, not minding the implication, many stubborn fellows would still find a way to travel despite the signs that have been given because you don't care and possible obvious warning have been released to you but you just go on but the bible says my people are perish because of lack of what knowledge so you also say for my thoughts are not your thoughts and neither are your ways my ways declares the lord and as heavens are higher than the earth so are the ways higher than the, my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts isaiah 55 and verse 8 to 9 so when god delay the delay of god is good amen now satanic delay can influence a man to be working on a wrong career working on wrong career always for many years eh? without a promotion like you now. You know what you need to do? Uh, Sharon, you need to do what? Make sure that you work hard to leave the office of secretariat and step into your office that you trained. Because where you trained, you took your money there. You took your time there. That's the area that you build yourself. So that area, you can engage in that area and you see you progressing and making it better. Compare with a place where you are just doing because there is no another place you can do. Okay? So, anyone that you are here and you are working, if you have a professional in the same organization or ministry you are working in, fight so that you can add more value to create an opportunity for yourself. You don't say amen because you don't like it. You think I will create an opportunity for you. Create yourself. You have already the leg inside. So inside there, do things to make sure it grow. Mpaka ipeane yu nafasi. Yes. If you are looking for a global solution to die tomorrow, no ya, no lala. 
Noia. Uh -huh. Because whether the devil like it or not, global solution for all mankind is not like <laughs> UD, you, you what? UD government. No. Is it UD? UDA. It's not like a UDA government of contract of five years. No. This is an, a movement. Tell somebody a movement. It is a movement. Right now, it's in Nigeria moving very strong. It is in Ghana growing very strong. In South Africa, it has started growing very strong. Tanzania, it has started growing very strong. You see now, different countries are capturing the vision. Uganda, they are calling for the office to start up very strong. Are you listening? So it's a movement. A movement has a starting point, but it doesn't have the ending point. Yeah, it is a movement. It's a movement. So global solution is a movement. Wherever you are and you have a professional and you know that professional is not what you are doing, do something in that area you are. Make it grow. Add value. Contribute ideas to make sure that other departments that are supposed to be there and they are not there, you are the one God is looking for to help it make it. When God gave Adam the Eden, he told Adam, cultivate it and make it better. Don't return everything. The government will do it for us. The government will do it. No, you have to do it. That's why the government assigned the ministers, the CS. They tell you, take your department and make sure that you work it out. Hello? Yeah. So, satanic delay, they cause somebody to work in a one place for a long time. For example, the enemy can place a man with a temporary job. <laughs> enemy. He gives you a, a work that you are not worked for. You have, he doesn't help you to earn anything. The devil can give you good people. But wrong work. Sometimes he can give you good work. But wrong people. Huh? So the enemy can push you <laughs> towards a man or a woman to marry the person. And the person is going to cause a big shame in your life. If I were you and I'm not married, I would have done like this to Fiakwa. It would not happen to me. Because Satan can arrange a package for you. He can arrange a package for you. Hmm? A person that will bring a everlasting shame and disgrace in your life. An everlasting shame. Do you know it? Yeah. For example, you live with a wife 10 years or 15, 20 years. And they tell you that the firstborn and the secondborn and the thirdborn, they are not your child. That is everlasting shame. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you are under shame and you are disgraced. That point, I have a man like that right now is waiting my answer in South Africa. That man, he told me he want to kill himself. He want to kill himself. Because he has three children and he says the wife is HIV positive but he is negative and the children eh, does not belong to him. He just learned that and he said he has been working very hard working day and night to position the wife and the work on the children and the children and you know he said that He's functioning very well. So he doesn't know how children become not his. He has just learned that his wife is unfaithful. 
Another one from Namibia. He sent a message to me. He said, I want to kill my mother. I said, what is the problem? The man said, at this age, sir, I am 29 now. Yes. And I have become, I've grown up, I've gone to school. And my mother is telling me that my father is not my father. So the best thing to reward my mother is to kill her. What do you think? What is the best thing that the man can do? That young man. But let me ask you women. Why are you so wicked? Honestly, I have to ask you women, tell me. Why are you people so wicked? Hmm? How can you be eating with a man on the table? Sleeping with a man? A man is waiting, working very hard. Eh? Feeding your children. And you know these children, they are not his. He feed until put to school, university, position, support him to make sure he get a job. And now when the man begins to earn, that boy, the mother is telling the boy, do not support your father with your money. It's not your father. Instead of a, a young man receiving it as a blessing, he saw it as a curse. Say, Mama, you are under a castle. You will not bring this curse to me. <laughs> you can't bring this stupid to me. So, the enemy can position and push a man, push a woman to you who will bring everlasting shame. But I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone that hear the sound of my voice, it should not be your portion in Jesus' name. May you escape that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May you escape that. It's a very bad thing. Hmm? <laughs> you know, it's very possible for a man to live in a witchcraft environment where no one make it in life. A witchcraft environment. Places where people don't make it in life. Locations. There are some areas in life where people don't make it. Like it was perceived in Nazareth. That in Nazareth, nothing good can come out of Nazareth. It was a, a place that is disorder place. It's like uh, Lodiba. A Lodiba place is not a place where good things will come from. So there are places when the devil can push you there. You will never rise up. Even Jesus, the king of kings. When he was born, he was born in a very, <laughs> weak, in a very disappointed manner. A situation that was disappointing. The father didn't have a house. So when the mother, because you can't make it in Nazareth. <laughs> Even though you have a good star. <laughs> eh? A father, Joseph, was a carpenter. That, that, the carpenter in those places was the, the highest uh, uh, professional working man as a carpenter. So the father of Jesus was the one who was very high in earning money because he was a carpenter, he was a professional. Other lower people were from Galilee who are doing this uh, fishing. And fishing in those days, you, you are very low, rejected people. You are a fisherman. So a carpenter looked like a little bit better. But he didn't have a house. He was a very poor man. <laughs> Joseph. If God give you a poor father, thank God that you are alive. You can make your father become. There is no need to complain against him. Jesus never complained. He was born in a very bad place, but he helped his father to do carpentry. Hmm? Nazareth. In Lodiba, rejected people. So you can live in an environment where people don't make it. But there is some positioning that you, by the grace of God and the power of God, you can position in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
that even if you live in hell, forget about Nazareth. Even if you are in hell, you can still make it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the qualification that will make you become, even in Nazareth, in Lodiba, that that qualification will pull you from that place is when the Lord is with you. When the Lord is with you, uh -uh, even in Lodiba, you will come to the palace. Hallelujah. I say when the Lord is in you, you can be a creeper in Lodiba, but you still come in a palace. You don't have education, but you still eat like some people who have money. Uh, you drive cars that the professor are driving. You sleep in houses that big men are sleeping. When Uhuru is chopping a certain level of bread, you can also afford it. Hallelujah. You can also eat because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People have now gained respect. People have now gained honor and promotion in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare to you that in the name of he who died and rose again, may you receive that promotion. May you receive that favor. May you be lifted from the dust and be put on the higher level in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. Every weapon of enemy are sent to you in the name of delay and stagnation. I hereby abort it in the name of Jesus. I divert it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout I reject it. Shout I reject it. Stagnation and delay is not your portion. I say stagnation and delay is not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, stagnation and delay is not your portion. I announce to you, child of the king. I announce you, child of the kingdom. You are a child of a champion. You are mounting to above levels. You are above and not beneath. You are the first and not the last. Any delay in your life, I command it in the name of Jesus. Lose now lose now lose now I push you ahead I say I push you ahead you will go in and inherit it you will go in and possess it you will go in and make it in the name of Jesus somebody shout yeah hallelujah Delay is not your portion. Look at somebody and tell somebody, delay is not your portion. Stagnation is not your portion. I command you that a stagnation in marriage, any stagnation in the business, any stagnation in the ministry, any stagnation in your career, I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. The Bible says what we read. You have dwelled on this mountain for too long. It's time to turn this side. It's time to make another level. It's time to move another level in the name of Jesus yeah. it's not your portion any demonic delay I reject it in your life any arranged delay I reject it in your life any inviration, inviration, environmental delay, I reject it in your life. In the name of Jesus. Any permanent delay, I move you from that place. I approach you from a permanent delay and I position you into a moving movement of God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, may you move with the God. May you go with God. May the presence of the Lord go with you. Somebody shout, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have dwelled in that mountain too enough. Enough is enough. It's time for you to stand up and say the devil is a liar. Enough is enough. I must benefit of my career. I must enjoy the work of my hand. I must eat the work of my hand. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Any inherited delay in your life somebody say I reject it I reject it inherited delay in the name of Jesus I reject it inherited delay in the name of Jesus I reject it arranged delay 
in the name of Jesus I rejected satanic delay in the name of Jesus arrows of Satan that caused delay fired in my star come out and die in the name of Jesus arrows of backwardness fired into my hands and my legs come out now and die in the name of Jesus chains of stagnation breaking my life in the name of Jesus delay tactics of organized against my joy scatter now in the name of Jesus arrows of disappointment come out of my life and fall down and die in the name of Jesus powers of hard life and struggle in life come out out of my life out of my family die now in the name of Jesus arrows of shame and difficulties backfire in the name of Jesus every power assigned to make me arrive and fall I reject you now you are a liar fall down and die every power of my father's house that is causing delay in my progress in my professional in my ministry in my career in my spiritual life I command fall down and die in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus satanic decree over my pictures catch fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every agent of delay assigned against me from this direction I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ point somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ every agent that is assigned against my life to bring delay in my life I command you now fall down and die in the name of Jesus every all oh, Jericho blocking my way scatter now in the name of Jesus as I look forward let the anointing of favor fall upon my life wall of Jericho give way to my life give way in this land of Kenya give way in this land of Mombasa in the name of Jesus I pull down every stronghold of satanic delay in the name of Jesus every strong man assigned my progress die in the name of Jesus every evil power draining my virtue fall down and die failure and calamity shall shall not be my identity I reject it evil rope that projected my life backward scatter and catch fire in the name of Jesus powers of darkness demanding me to release my speed in the name of Jesus fall down and die by your mercy oh Lord let me accomplish my destiny this year in Jesus name any power from my father's house from my mother's side holding me that what belongs to me he doesn't want to release it now I go forward and I take it to me I go backward and I take it to me I go aside and I take it to me and from another side I take it to me in the name of Jesus favor of God rest upon my life divine agenda go ahead of me spirit of the Lord 
anoint my head spirit of Jesus dominate my mouth spirit of Christ dwell in my heart lead me guide me deploy angels to surround me from any demonic agenda in the name of Jesus receive it now receive it now receive it now let it happen to you all in the name of Jesus I decree to be your portion I say in the name of Jesus I decree everything you have proclaimed you have confessed to be your portion I say in the name of Jesus every prayer and confession become your portion you are a winner hallelujah put your hand together for Jesus hallelujah how many of you are blessed it's a wonderful evening thank you my son the Lord bless you I will buy that drink in the oh, it, oh it is an offering eh? oh, it's a blessing for me the Lord bless you your money will not dry in your pocket in the name of Jesus Heavenly Father I want to thank you for the grace all these people now they have received your word I speak a blessing over their life they shall not want any money that they have put in me let it multiply increase and multiply and double in the name of Jesus I pray their progress I pray no stagnation I break stagnation I break delay I remove delay. It is not the money they have given me that you will remove delay. But it's a sign to tap into prophetic word. And I pray that it shall be multiplied. Release them from this power of this offering. Release them in the name of Jesus. Release them in the name of Jesus. I command the money to come on their way from four corners of the earth. People will put money in their pocket. People will put money in their empesa. People will send money to them. In the name of Jesus. Let it happen tonight. Doors of finance open up. Anointing of financial and breakthrough. And easy in life. Anointing of favor. To locate every one of them. In Jesus mighty name. I pray. Somebody say amen.